Artificial intelligence is already in the tools and technologies we all use daily. So it's essential to teach kids how AI works and guide them to make thoughtful choices when interacting with it. Just as importantly, we have to help kids explore ethical questions about fairness, responsibility, privacy, and the kind of future we want to build together. While recent attention has focused on generative AI and chatbots, AI's influence goes much deeper. Let's begin by looking at algorithms. Algorithms might seem like a fancy word, but they're simply step-by-step -step instructions that computers follow to perform tasks, such as sorting through data, finding patterns, and making predictions or decisions. Ever see an ad for something you were just thinking about? Or notice how your favorite app always knows what to recommend? That's because of algorithms. They learn from what you watch or like. But here's the catch. They mostly show you more of the same because they know you'll like it, so you might miss out on new ideas or different opinions. Most companies don't tell us how their algorithms work, so it's important to understand a few things. What you click, like, or watch teaches the algorithm what to show you. Your age and location can change what you see. Algorithms shape what you see, and that can shape how you think or feel. Next, let's talk about your data and privacy. When you use generative AI chatbots, everything you ask and tell the AI may be stored and used to help train future versions of the AI. This means that what you share with the chatbot will be stored and may show up in responses to other users later on. You and your children should know how your data is being used and have control over it. AI tools can be helpful, but they're not always right. Sometimes they make mistakes or give answers that sound correct but aren't true. There's also misinformation. AI platforms are built on whatever's online, including false information that's shared on purpose to trick or confuse people. AI tools can make it easier to spread false information by creating fake pictures, videos, and voices that look and sound real. That's why it's so important to double-check what you see or read, especially if it seems surprising, upsetting, or too good to be true. Always fact-check using reliable, trusted sources, and ask questions if something doesn't seem right. Then there's bias. Because AI learns from data produced by people, it may learn human preferences or prejudices, and then produce outputs that aren't fair or balanced. An example of this is an AI trained to recognize cats. If it only learns from pictures of fluffy white cats, it may struggle to recognize cats that look different, like a short-haired gray cat. When AI is unfair, it can make existing problems worse and treat some people less fairly especially those who are already left out or not treated equally. Because generative AI is supposed to sound like a person, it may feel confusing to us. People can develop one-sided relationships with AI bots that feel real. AI can also give harmful advice or say hurtful things. It's important to remember that AI might sound like a real person, but it doesn't think or feel like we do. That's why we need to make safe choices, like not relying on AI when we're feeling lonely or upset. Instead, we should talk to a trusted friend or professional who can really help. Generative AI doesn't just run on ideas, it runs on energy. Every time we use AI, electricity is used to power the AI computers and water is used to cool them. That's why it's important to think about how using AI affects the environment, just like we do with other technologies. There's a lot to think and talk about when it comes to AI, and that's okay. What matters most is that we keep asking questions, having conversations, and learning together. This way, we can all use media and technology in safe, smart, and positive ways. Remember to keep the conversation going.